Boolean algebra can be used to describe any logic circuit. Just as an elementary algebra, we use variables to represent inputs and outputs. And these variables can only have the values 0 and 1. So in this example, A, B and C are all variables. And then if we get a variable and we take its inverse, for example using a NOT gate, we call that a complement. So A bar, B bar and C bar are all complements. And then a literal is a variable or a complement. So A and not A are literals. So Boolean addition is equivalent of the OR operation. And we know from an OR gate that the sum is going to be 1 if any of the literals are 1. So that just comes directly from the OR gate truth table. If any input is a 1, the output will be a 1. So in this case, the inputs are the literals and the output is the sum because this is doing Boolean addition. If any literals are 1, the sum is a 1. Now it's only if all the literals a zero that the sum is zero so again this just comes directly directly from the truth table we've got a uh, four possible inputs for a two input or get so that's we can call it a b and this will be the sum so we can see this the sum is one if any of the inputs or literals are one and it's only a zero if both of the inputs are a zero so for example so in this particular example we've got a or not b or c that can be equal to one and there's lots of cases when that could be true so if a is one or b is zero because this is uh, not b so if b is zero not b will be one or if c is one so all the cases where um, those are true, this sum will be true. But the case where we've got some kind of sum and it's equal to zero, and there's only one particular case, this can be true. And that's when A is a 1. So if, if A is a 1, we know not A will be zero. Obviously B is zero, that term will be zero. And if C is a 1, not C will be zero. So it's only when all of the inputs are zero will the sum be zero. Now look at the case of Boolean multiplication. So this is essentially the AND gate, so I'll just draw out the AND gate uh, uh, truth table. So this the output here will be the product. So we've got zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. We know here the product is only one, or the output the AND gate is one, when, only when both inputs are a one. So all, all of the literals need to be one for the product to be one. Now, if any of the literals are zero, we know that the output or the product's going to be zero. So all these cases where the output is zero is because there's a zero somewhere on these inputs. So for this, for this example here, we've got not A and B and C equal to 1. Now there's only one case that can be true. So B needs to be a 1, C needs to be 1, and then A is a 0, so that'll make not A equal to a 1. So it's only 1 and 1 and 1 gives us 1. But for this case of not A and B and C being equal to 0, there's lots of different cases when that can be true. So if C is a zero, this will be true. So it doesn't really matter what A or B are if C is a zero, for example. And again, if B is zero, it doesn't matter what C or A is. It will force ex this expression to be zero. And the same if A is one, not A will be zero. So it doesn't matter what B or C is. So any case where A is one, B is zero, or C is zero, uh, this multiplication here will give us zero.